Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Bertelles and for today's video we have a very special one because we have an unexpected collaboration that I never saw coming but I am beyond happy that it's happening. And that is because my boys from SB19, or should I say my Asawa from SB19, have decided to collaborate with the iconic Regine Velasquez, queen, legend, icon of the Philippines, Asia's songbird supreme. They decided to come together and perform a live rendition of Hangan Sahuli on Asa. So for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to their entire performance. And as usual, I'll give you my comments and feedback about everything that happens on stage. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button so that it gets recommended to more people. Can we get to 1000 likes? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well so that you don't miss out on the new content that I post almost every single day. And last but not least, go down in the comment section and express yourself. Let me know what do you think about my reaction, but also the boys' performance. Now, I know you're impatient for the boys and Regine, so I won't keep you waiting much longer. I'll see you right after the intro. You strong. You strong. <laughs> Excited. Here we go, guys. Come on, Pablo. Show them how it's done. I did not expect Regine's voice to suit this song so, so good. She doesn't just sound good, she sounds amazing. If there is one thing about Regina Velasquez that I always say is that her ability to make you feel an emotion and tell you a story through the lyrics of a song is just unmatched. And I think that Hangan Sahuli is the perfect song for this. So if in the beginning I was excited about this collaboration, right now I am pumped. And also I just want to comment real quick about the boys. Of course we haven't heard all of them just yet, but right now we had Ken who had his little intro moment and then we had Pablo who is now introducing the verse of the song. And both of them look amazing. It seems like they have a little theme going on with the suits, with the black suits and the earrings and the makeup is all bleak and my boy that look is so good. <laughs> Proud moment here. Queen sing. This sounds way, way, way too good. Oh my goodness. I'm having an eargasm right now. One of the things that comes to mind, first of all, is the growth. And I know that we always talk about growth, you know, when it comes to SB19 and their careers and all of the hardships and the challenges. But do you guys realize that they are on stage with Regine Velasquez? Like this woman is a huge deal. And I know that she is famous and known in the Philippines and appreciated in the Philippines, but she is a big deal even internationally. Like being on stage with this woman is an honor. Not everyone gets to perform live with her. And not everyone has what it takes to perform alongside Regine Velasquez. You know, one of the reasons why she is so legendary, so iconic, so loved all around the world is because of her talent. So in order to stand next to this woman and sing alongside, you need to have pure talent as well. When I tell you that I'm proud about my boys, I am beyond proud. Honestly, I'm not gonna get emotional here, <laughs> but I'm very proud, guys. Sobrang, sobrang proud. 
And talking about other things, did y'all see my Asawa looking cute with the Chanel earrings? <laughs> What's up, style? I see you, baby. My OG Asawa? Okay, I know that they're now gonna go down and they're gonna, you know, I need a moment to process, guys, I need a moment to process. Mm. This is such a beautiful moment. My heart is so, so happy right now because I feel like I have, I have a lot of these moments here on this channel, so I'm, you know, beyond grateful, but these are my worlds colliding. Regine Velasquez, for those of you who might not be familiar with me, was one of the first ever singers that I discovered from the Philippines and that I look up to so much, that I appreciate so much. And SB19 is my favorite boy band from the Philippines. And not just a boy band, like one of my favorite like artists, like group of people from the Philippines, period. So seeing them come together in such a beautiful way, perform one of the, one of the songs that I love the most from them, first of all, and second of all, come with such a solid performance. I'm getting the chills. I cannot lie to you guys. I got the chills. I am overjoyed. There's no other way to explain it. I think that Regine Velasquez is such a class act. This woman, I have watched so many of her performances. I have reacted to her so many times and every single time she is in the presence of a new talent, she has this instinct to, to nurture them, to really encourage them. She doesn't try to oversing. She doesn't try to overshadow. She tries to compliment vocally. She tries to support. She tries to make them shine. And for that, I have so much respect for this woman. You, I, I can, oof. I told you guys I'm not gonna get emotional and I'm gonna keep my word. That little moment right there that Stell had with Virgin Velasquez, man, that's precious. How many singers can really go against Virgin Velasquez like that and give her a run for her money? Like they are performing together and to be on that level and hit those notes, you know what, sometimes I don't even have to defend them no more. Sometimes images just speak louder than words.
<laughs> At the regime is so proud. Oh, group hug. Oh, I love you guys. I love this woman so much. Oh my god. Precisely. Wow, grabe. Seeing them come together is just such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I said that from a perspective of a fan of like all of them. Each and every single one of them individually, I am a fan. And I was not expecting this to be honest. I was just not expecting it. I don't feel like I see very often like boy bands come together with like iconic singers or like soloists to perform together. It's just not something that I was expecting. But damn, that was such a perfect match. I think that Regine's tone and like the power of her voice on this particular track is just... I need them to come up with a studio version of this. Like I would pay for it, I would buy it, I will give you guys money if you guys record this. I want it on my Spotify playlist. But putting that aside, this is also such a huge moment for the voice. You know, this is like another level of recognition, another level of appreciation, another level of validation in their own country because let's not forget although sb19 has become pretty much like the p-pop phenomenon in the philippines and arguably the most powerful boy band in the philippines as of right now it wasn't always that way and the love wasn't always there and the support wasn't always there and for them to be at this point in their careers where they can perform with the biggest singers in the country oh my god i am so proud so happy so in awe so in denial and I cannot believe that my Asawa <laughs> and my Ate Regine <laughs> came together for a performance. I loved it. Now, of course, those are just my comments and my opinion, but I want to hear as well what you guys have to say. So go down in the comment section, let me know what do you think about the performance, the, the rendition, the mix. Did you like um, how they sounded together and anything else that you would like to express? As usual, um, if you enjoyed my videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And if you want to watch more of my reactions to SB19, I have a bunch of them, just click right here. While you do that, thank you for coming and staying with me until the end. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you guys very, very soon with more content. Love you, take care, bye now.